वन ऑफ द वायरल मॉडल्स दीज डेज इज मोशी आई ऑल्सो कवर्ड मोशी ऑन माई चैनल कपल ऑफ डेज अगो इट इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट परफॉर्मेंट टेक्स टू स्पीच मॉडल आई वॉज क्वाइट क्यूरियस टू सी वट एग्जैक्टली वॉज रनिंग बिहाइंड द सीन मोशी स्पेशली इट्स इन्फ्लुंस वॉज सो फास्ट एंड देन आई केम टू लर्न दैट हगिंग फेस कैंडल वॉज अ सीक्रेट सॉस बिहाइंड इट्स लाइटनिंग फास्ट इन्फ्लुंस सो इन दिस वीडियो we are going to install that hugging face candle library locally and then we will also do the inference locally to see how many tokens we get per second remember that when we use other frameworks other libraries normally the tokens per seconds are 1 to 2 seconds at most so let's see what sort of magic candle does for us just to give you a quick idea candle is a minimalist ml framework for rust with a focus on performance it means in simple language that this is a tool or framework which lets us do faster inference it is very very minimal very lightweight and it is developed in rust programming languages it not only supports gpus but also support the cpu it is quite easy to use but the real challenge is its installation it is pain in the back i have battled with the installation for 4 to 5 hours today and i'm not exaggerating at all and then i was able to get it right on my ubuntu system and i will not only show you how to do that but i will also share all the commands which i'm going to use for this video so that you will save hours and hours of pain there are a lot of dependencies there there are a lot of things which you need to taken care of but once you know it it is quite straightforward and easy so that said and done why should we use candle by the way so candle's core goal is to make serverless inference possible full machine learning frameworks like pytorch are very large which makes creating instances on a cluster very slow so just like moshi which is being run on lot of cluster i think l4 gpus from hugging face and It, with the help of candle it was not only easy to deploy once they got it out right but also it was quite easy to run it in multi cluster multi gpu environment also candle lets you remove python from production workloads python is awesome great i love python but python is a heavy language it has lot of overhead so whenever you are using in a lightweight sort of headless serverless environment it is highly suggested that look for a python alternate and i think rust is a good candidate i have played around it a bit and i think looks really promising okay so enough talk let's go and see how to get it installed before that let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are, are very generously sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website and also i am going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of gpus so do check them out let's go back to our candle so this is my google set. and now let let me take you to my vm where i am running ubuntu 22.04 now this is a thing make sure to run these things on latest versions because there are a lot of dependencies as i mentioned earlier so if you are starting from scratch i would highly suggest to install as is as i am as i have um shown you the version numbers here so ubuntu is 22.04 let me clear the screen and i am using nvidia's card which is nvidia rtx 6000 with 48 gpu of vram you can use any nvidia card even you can use cpu if you are looking to run the local small model so that is fine let me clear the screen now having said that there is there are two things you need definitely without that it won't work at all first and foremost you should be running cuda which is nvidia's um technology for gpu so for example if my cuda version is 12.3 make sure that you are running this version anything less than that it doesn't work i have tried my hardest best uh, on 11.8 there are a lot of bugs so make sure that your cuda version is 12.3 if you don't know how to install cuda please search my channel i have done a separate exclusive video on it as how to install cuda on ubuntu 22.04 
so i'm assuming that you have coda installed second up make sure that your compute capability of your nvidia card is something over eight what it means in simple languages that make sure that you are using some modern nvidia card and not the very very old one so as long as you're you you have your nvidia card from this or last year you should be fine because most of them are uh, over eight point something okay so that's said and done now there are few prerequisites which you need to install i mean libraries on ubuntu and same would be on other linux systems and you can find the equivalent on windows system and i will show you in vs code to make it easier and i will also drop all of these commands in my blog and i will put the link in video description so don't worry about typing them okay so first and foremost because it is a rust based utility you need to install rust installing rust is very simple all you need to do is to run this command it is going to download it and run it and the rust will be there you can then set the environment with your rust api that thing also make sure that you definitely set these two variables first and foremost you need to set this gcc path to your path variable in environment and this is for cc1 plus which is the c plus plus compiler driver for gnu linux this is a must and this has given me the most pain anyway so make sure that you set this variable also make sure do you have open ssl installed and set your open SSL LIB DIR variable to this path. On your operating system, the path might be different. So don't worry about it. If you want to find these two, all you need to do is to run this command, like sudo find something. Let me actually paste the command here too for you. So the command you need to use to find where your CC1 plus or open SSL is, is this. sudo find slash, it is going to search all the file on your root and it is going to give you the whole path of it which you can use simply just replace it here you should be good and for some reason you can't find them in order to install this open ssl just use this that's it and you will get the cc1 plus with when you install that cuda so this is the must you need to make sure that this is in place let's go back to our terminal and this is our terminal okay so we have all this stuff ready let me clear the screen now let's start installation of candle first up by using cargo which is a utility for rust create a new application in cargo it is okay so it is saying that it already exists so let me because i just uh, was doing it whole day so let me just remove it let me clear the screen and let it run again so it has created it let's cd to my app if i do the tree here this is a usual structure of the rust file don't worry about it too much we are not learning rust here okay so that is done let's now add the candle core which is a core library of the candle package to this new cargo which is a utility for our candle so all you need to do is to run this command it is going to put all of this candle stuff into your rust project so let me run it and you see because i'm using cuda i have specified cuda here so if you are using cpu just replace it with cpu and you should be fine so that is done let me clear the screen next up we need to build this project and in order to build this project all you need to do is to run this command cargo build And it is going to compile it. Let's wait for it to finish. And this is going to take like, you can see that there are 102 packages. Let's wait for it to finish. And that is all done. So cargo core is ready and optimized and all done. Let's clear the screen. Next up let's git clone the repo of candle because we will be using the file to example from there should it take too long that is done and that let's cd to those candle examples we have cd there and now in order to do the inference with file 2 models such as and let me clear the screen 
all you need to do is to run this command so here i am running cargo run example file you can replace it with other models and i will tell you shortly which other models is support and then because i am using cuda and then the release and model is 52 and this is my prompt here so just let's run it it is going to first time it is going to take a bit of a time it is also going to download the model so let's wait for it to finish it is almost there and as you can see that now it is building the 5 one that is done did you see that 45.53 tokens per second all local nothing else and you know within a jiffy it was able to give us a response and it is also giving us some of the other parameters that how many time it took how, and the model load size is also very very quick because it was already there if the your model is not there it is going to take a bit of a time but not much really let's try out another example and this time i'm just going to ask it how much is enough and explain in only two paragraphs let's see do you you see how quick that is 48.27 tokens i mean it is just lightning fast amazing amazing stuff really sublime let's try out another one let's try out a coding one let's see if it is able to do a code prompt let me paste it here quickly in the next one i am asking it show me a python script that draws the mental broad set let's press enter i will let it run you see how quick that is it is really lightning fast and that is the beauty of rust and plus this candle framework from hugging face it is going on and on and on it is giving us a complete uh, set of program and that is a fire 2 model for you that is another sublime model so let's wait for it to draw everything and look at the speed and you have seen me working with lm studio and olama and few other inference libraries and they are one two four maybe tokens per second and this one is just into the 30s and 40s and i think that is going to spill over my gpu and it is even drawing it how good is that so this even if it doesn't tell us how many tokens per second just by looking at it we can tell how good is that so it was a complex code and it is just doing justice to it there you go because you know it has just spilled over it so that is fine but amazing model uh, you have to control the inference in in the program but simply awesome and i just changed my prompt and i just asked uh, asked it just give me the code not an explanation and then it has given me that and then you see 46.47 tokens per second this is as good as anything so very very impressed by it i will drop all the commands which i have used in this um, in my blog and i will drop the link in video description i hope that you enjoyed it i loved working with it and i will be using it more and more the only challenge is installation and hopefully that pain uh, is also gone after this video if you like the content please share this video among your network as it helps a lot i'm more than sure that you already have subscribed so thank you for that and have a good day. Bye.